YouTube. Uh, it's about 10.30 um, on a Friday. I'm going into a pretty local call. Um, I was out there last week and it was an issue with a blower motor. The uh, It's an older style blower, direct drive, needed to be oiled. It had, I'm assuming, never been oiled. Um, so it was making quite the racket, the bearings were making quite the racket. So I had uh, used the zoom spout oiler and oiled it up. Noise went away, everything seemed to be okay. Uh, average draw on it was fine. Um, got a call this morning that she smelled a faint burning smell and she has no heat. So I'm assuming the motor died. The unit's probably going off on limit. Um, hopefully that's worst case scenario. Hopefully I can get the motor out in a tight little basement area. It's a dugout crawl space that was turned into a small little basement. Um, I'll show you guys when we get there. So this one should be interesting. Hopefully I can get it out and get the new one in, you know, run, get a motor, um, get the new one in and take it from there. All right, I'll see you guys when we get over there. I check the cap, the cap's good. Motor itself, no matter what speed I try, heating or the AC speed, the high speed, low speed, medium speed, they're all, all have the same issue. So looks like we gotta get a new motor. However, here's these two bolts here. The other two on the other side, which I have to get through from the panel in the back. However, there's a nice concrete wall there. So it looks like all of this ductwork has to come out just so I can get to those two bolts to get the below out. Why people install things like this, I have no idea. Oh. Got it out. So it did slide in and out of here, but I did have to get to the, the screws and the, the mounting hardware back there. So I had to take out all this ductwork, the ductwork up over the top, just so I could get this out. They put screws in from the back side here on this adapter piece, so couldn't get that out. So thankfully this screw here, they actually seem like they came in through the furnace and came through there. So, so everything's out. Now I gotta go get a, get a motor. Lennox does not have one, so I have to wait for it. So I'm gonna take it over to my local Johnstone supply and see what they, see what they got. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a minute.
trying to get done. Uh, that part was kind of a pain. You can see how much I had to take out. I took this all out in one piece because all the drive cleats back there I couldn't get to. So I had to take the flue pipe out. Um, so I was able to get that drive cleat out and that drive cleat out. And then with the screws that I got out of here, I was able to just drop everything down. So, all right, uh, we're looking good. The motor, it's an eight amp motor. Right now it's still running, it's running a bit high. It's, uh, six, nine, six, seven. Duck work is kind of uh, dumb. All right, I will catch you guys on the next one. Like, subscribe, really subscribe, um, comment, and share, and that would be great for me. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Shut up and sit down.